remember before the election when Trump was questioning whether he should trust the results of the election? Remember that? Who were the people saying and outrageously reacting? How could he possibly question the integrity of our precious democracy? How could he question our precious democracy and the integrity of our elections? How could he do that? Ah! Remember that? Who were the people doing that? It wasn't Republicans. Well, maybe a couple of Republicans. Mostly Democrats and the left-wing media. How could he possibly question the integrity of our precious democracy elections? How could he possibly? And at the time, I'm like, wait, what was it the Democrats, the ones that were questioning the results of the 2000 elections? Wasn't it the Democrats questioning our precious integrity of our precious democracy? And it's those same people that are saying, what's he going to do about the meddling? The meddling of the Russians that compromised the integrity of our elections. What is he going to do about it? What is he going to do about it? These psychopaths. You guys are nuts. You lost your mind. Shut up. Shut up. You were wrong. You guys were wrong. You guys were the ones saying, how could he possibly question the integrity of our precious democracy elections? How? And now they're like, what is he going to do about it? Well, guess what? What did Obama do about it when he knew? Well, he said, I'll call Putin and I'll say it. That's Obama's uh, accent. I said, knock it off. Knock it off, Putin. <laughs> That's totally not President Obama's dialect. So I, I just, I just want to remind everybody, these people are psychotic. These news media people, freaking psychotic. And I, I just, I want to remind everybody, they're psychotic. They lost their minds. They're hysterical. That's all I have to say. You've got no credibility. Credibility. You have no credibility. Because you're wrong about everything wrong about everything and then you just tramps forward as if the past didn't happen that you're being wrong about everything doesn't matter what is he gonna do what is he gonna do to Putin well let's just start invading the country of Russia. Let's just start bombing the heck out of them. What do you want us to do? Well, is he going to ask him about it? Sure. And what is Putin going to do? Deny it? What are we supposed to do? What do you expect the president to do? Do you have any ideas? It seems like you have a lot of ideas that are wrong. That's what it seems like. Do we need to go through the history again? I don't get it. I really don't get it. And I don't understand why nobody else is saying this. What I'm just saying. I want to remind you that it was the de Democrats and the left-wing media that was hysterical that a candidate for the presidency of the United States would question the electoral process and it's integrity. You guys are lost your minds. You guys are freaking retarded. And, uh, yeah, they had ABC on or something. Oh, I flipped out. 
I didn't realize I was still that um, triggerable. Yeah, I was triggered. Oh, man. I had to take a couple of deep breaths. That's where we are in this world is... Um, I'm not forgetting how wrong they were about all of that. The position, the flip-flopping. Like, each side wants to point to the other side about their flip-flopping. I, I'm just tired of the partisan on both sides. I mean, it was Fox News and the Republicans just tripping all over themselves, everything that o Obama did, you know? And I, I just... There's not much I can do from a day-to-day -day basis. I don't have enough in my adrenal glands to keep up with that from day to day. I'm just a citizen. An informed citizen, yes. It's okay to be informed, but do I really need to be uh, bombarded to the point of adrenal fatigue over every little thing that the president does or big thing? I mean, it's Congress's job to keep the president in check. That's what I was saying during the Obama administration. It's, that's the kind of thinking. Oh my goodness. And that's what the left is doing with our president. And here's another thing. Like, they're probably doing it because, you know, that's what they're going to do. But also because, you know, the right... We could say, oh, well, the right nitpicked at Obama... And then we could say, well, the left nitpicked at Bush. And then we could say, well, the right nitpicked at Clinton. I mean, how far back are we going to go back and forth until we just say, you know what? Uh, my, The person I voted for didn't get in. And so I'm just going to hunker down for the next couple of years until the next election. And I'm just going to live my life. Tune out all the negative stuff just live my life that's what I want to do because you know what it makes me happier though so, I was requested to comment on that so there's my comment sky this one's for you <laughs>